<laughs> yes, you got some fans in the house. Like, this is like the most beautiful father-daughter duo I've ever, like, laid my eyes on. <laughs> this is kind of Thank crazy. You. And y'all look a lot alike. That's, that, yes. that's, that's, that's a good thing. It's good Thank to have you. a good-looking parent. That's not, yeah. not bad. And congratulations True. on all your success. Oh, thank yes. you. You are a great example for all of us. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that means so much to me, truly, coming from you. I also feel like I can relate to you a little bit. We both kind of did the big yeah. shop. <laughs> you know, I peeped your Instagram. Uh, how was that for you? Like, getting that reaction? I think so... Because here's the deal. Your hair is, like, pretty famous. It was, like, people, like, you had, like, this beautiful mane, and, like, and then you got to this point where you're, like, you know, <laughs> then you guys posted this picture. Was that your idea, or did, like, you want to do it? Like, how did that I happen? Was, he was taking a picture with the martini, and I was walking, and I was like, oh, cool. And I got in the back, and then I <laughs> smiled, and then he took it, and then everyone was, like, People kind of went a little crazy. Yeah. Like, it went viral. Were you expecting that? About just oh, it's a haircut. Your head? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. the last time I went viral before that was uh, when I mispronounced Adina Menzel's name. <laughs> <laughs> This is better. This is, this is better. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you like your dad ball? Yeah, you I, I love it. I, yeah, I really like it a lot. How are I you think feeling? It's great. Is it? Because it's, it's, it's so a... much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But you know, it's kind of scary because you never know what you're going to look like ball. You don't know how your head yeah. is shaped. You know, I was nervous. I was like, if my head don't look right, I can't go back. Right. You're very lucky. You kind of look like how Nicolas Cage looked when he played you in Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> and, but. Are there any, like, downsides? People always ask me that, like, what, do you miss the hair? Like, are there any downsides to having a bald no, head? No, and also, I did a, a movie years ago called uh, From Paris with Love, where I shaved it. Yeah. So I got used to it, and some people got used to it. So it wasn't a total shock. And I, I became friends with Pitbull, and I loved having... <laughs> 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 All those guys have to stick together, you know, that do this. And um, he encouraged it as well, and the that family is... encouraged it, so... You it was... hanging out with Pitbull is like a TV show. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I yeah. want to know what y'all are talking about. You know, it's funny, Ella, like, you you kind of... You obviously grew up in a, a Hollywood house. For sure, uh, yeah. How was that for you, sort of, being a kid on sets or going to film premieres? Is that, like, nuts? Is, like, are you, like, is Oprah coming to Thanksgiving? Are you, like... Well, actually, it's a funny thing. Well, I've grown up on sets my whole life. Yeah. So I've just... I absolutely love that. And funny that you mentioned Oprah. I actually lost my first tooth with Oprah on a boat. <laughs> what? Yeah. Was she, was she like a tooth fairy? Did she like, was there a I car? guess so, you know, it just Did happened. Did you have a car under really your pillow? Excited. Like I what? think I swallowed the tooth. You swallowed Actually, the tooth? maybe, so that might have not been so good, but... Okay. But it was... I think I still got money on, under my pillow. So okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. And, and John, obviously, you, you've got to meet a lot of famous people, you know, over the course of your life and your career. I heard that you and Muhammad Ali kind of met. Like, how did, yeah. how did that happen? It was at a time where, arguably, we were the two most famous people in the world. Wow. And, and he <laughs> loved to compete with it. And he used to test it all the time. We'd walk down the street, he'd say, let's see who gets recognized first. Wow. You know, and one time, uh, some a young person recognized us both, and they kind of freaked, freaked out. And he said, you think you're dreaming? <laughs> you, you think... You think you're, you're seeing John Travolta and Muhammad Ali together, <laughs> and you go home, and you're going to say, did that, was that real, or was that a dream? <laughs> Somebody probably thought they were on mushrooms when they went. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I would not have known what to do with myself if I saw y'all two walking down the street. Now, here's the interesting thing. Like, a lot of times, like, your parents embarrass you, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you, like, you're, like, the king of cool. So, yeah. I don't know, like, does John Travolta embarrass you as your dad? Does that happen? I mean, there's been times, for <laughs> sure. It doesn't never happen. But, um, there, yeah, there was one time that, actually, Taylor Lautner was coming over to the house. And, and I, I was just, I, I loved just him, Team to Jacob. And, um, okay, and okay. For sure. And my friends and I were looking at pictures of him and... Just of course. Sort of researching him, As like, one oh my does. gosh, she's coming! Oh. And he <laughs> knew that. And then Taylor gets there, and one, and his family as well. So I was researching about them too. Right. Just to learn, yeah. you know. Just research. Yeah, yeah, it's important. <laughs> so um, then the first thing he says to them is, "Oh, I was just looking you guys up on the internet." <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yo. What? You know, a father's point of view is. You know, everybody loves Taylor Lautner. Wouldn't, wouldn't he be flattered <laughs> that, that Ella's looking him yeah. up and everything to do with... I, I see the thought process, but, but it, 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 it saying that. Mm -hmm. 
how to tell? Was he cool? Was he, was he like and chill? he's like, oh, ha, ha, okay. so <laughs> nice. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> with my face like bright red, probably. Hilarious. Like, now look, I have my favorite John Travolta films. I mentioned three of them at the top. Mm -hmm. Look who's talking. I watched those repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> You probably don't get that. You probably don't get that one. Me and my sister still have them on VHS. They're a very oh big part of our VHS, childhood, OK? Like, you know, I, I, I son was amazing. Halle Berry, too, in Swordfish. Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, you did. When I, I saw it. I thought, I'm the only one that gets to kiss her. And you got to kiss her. Look, man, we have a lot in common. <laughs> you do. <laughs> What, do you have a do you have a favorite movie of your, you? You have so many movies, but like, can you pick a favorite one? One of my favorites is From Paris with Love. Oh, okay. I just I love that movie so much. Dope. Yeah, and Whoa. then of course Hairspray Grease. Oh, there's Whoa. so. Hairspray, many. <laughs> wild Hogs. Also, I love Wild Hogs. Yeah, and I really too. like Swordfish. I, I snuck into oh, the theater yeah. to see that when I wasn't supposed to, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Would you like me to teach you how they eat donuts in L.A.? Yeah. I can't. Because they don't eat donuts in L.A., they eat sprouts. However, I can show you how to do it in Texas. You ready? Dunk. <laughs> Maybe smaller bites. Here, yeah, couple. Mm. You're too pretty to be dunking donuts. Cheers. First time I've ever toasted without liquor in it. <laughs> Travolta. Wow, man. Tell, tell me a little bit about Poison Rose. Like, it, I know it's a detective story, but how did this movie come about? Well, you know, it's, I play a, a scruffy detective, as you saw. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's assigned to a missing persons case in, uh, in Texas, and it turns into a murder uh, case. Mm -hmm. And Ella's at the center of that murder case. And then uh, Morgan Freeman is kind of like the godfather of Galveston. And he knows more about the case than anybody. Yeah, that's amazing. So uh, we have to deal with him. And I have a history with Morgan in this film. And uh, Ella is, is the, the prime suspect of the, so I'm checking her out in that wow. scene. That's not bad. Like, this is like your <laughs> second movie, right? Yeah. Like don't you love it? She went from Robin Williams <laughs> right to, to Morgan, <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing, had you and Morgan Freeman ever been in a movie together? Before? No, no, but we had wow. a, a similar past. Uh -huh. He was from Broadway, I was from Broadway. So every day on the set, I would sing a song, and he would finish it, or he would yeah, start a song. It was amazing. amazing. And I don't know if, 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 if it's true, but I'm assuming that he was telling me true, that he said he had the most fun on that set than he had on any movie. Wow. That's and I think it's because we injected a little music into our Nice. Day. You can whistle while you worked. That's, yeah. that's, that's dope. <laughs> now, who's, uh, whose idea was it for you guys to do a movie together? Because I know you had done one already. Well, this is the yeah. interesting thing. Hurt? Ideas like yours come very quick and they, they come to fruition very easily. Wow. When she was seven, she said, Daddy, I want to do a movie. Mm -hmm. And a week later, that script with Robin and I came on my plate. And now she turned 18 last year and said to me, Daddy, uh, I think I'm ready to go back to movies. Wow. Boom! A week later, this Morgan Freeman script came on my plate. I said, Honey, we're on. <laughs> 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 That's the most kind of that speed of particle flow wow. quickness. You got to be careful when you say something. You know what I'm saying? Because it will come to you. It's like, you know, it's like, I want to win a million dollars. It's going to show up at the door. You have that power. And just quickly, uh, in the clip, you guys were eating donuts, which is one of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys like sweets? Do you like donuts? Do you like, you know, oh, baked yeah. goods? Yeah, and we're, stuff? Big, we're a big food family. Nice. We do bake offs at home, too. Oh, wow. Like we watch chop the food competitions channels. or bake off But he wins every single time. Dang it, John Travolta. Yeah. You're good at everything. <laughs> Look, the poison rose. Remember that opens in select theaters and on demand this Friday. Go check it out. I know I will. We'll be right back with Lala Milan. Thank y'all. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>